the show has taken us to many exotic locales in our lives, but none as exotic as scenic. Oh yeah, there it is. New Jersey. Zombie guy is just perfect for this. <laughs> He's as excited as we are to go to the New Jersey Pine Barrens. Who's ready to meet some pineys? Hello. Oh, Hello again. yeah. Uh, again? To our next episode. Nobody remembers you. Hey. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. Okay, well, this is our, our lovely and talented friend, Lucy, who uh, <laughs> who is kind enough to uh, drive us to drop-off points and then wait to pick us back up. And uh, uh, she basically eats the food we don't get to eat for the, <laughs> the 21 days. Is this your first time in the New Jersey Pine Barrens? It is, actually. Yeah. Yeah, first time. It's, it's a lifelong goal of mine, actually. It's on my bucket list for places I want to go. So. I used to date a girl in Edison, New Jersey, but we don't want to talk about that. So, uh... <laughs> Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Road to Nowhere. I'm your host, Dallas Collins. And I'm Hank Souza. And we are here in the heart of the Pine Barrens Wilderness in New Jersey, a vast stretch of untamed wilderness where for the next 21 days, we will be attempting to survive off nothing but the wilderness. You know, a lot of people, when they think about New Jersey, they think of smog, highways, and that one movie by Zach Braff, but there is actually a bustling wilderness that can be very dangerous in the Garden State. Uh, far more scary than any Kevin Smith movie you've ever seen. This is also a very, very special episode because for the first time on this show, we will be entering an area of the wilderness that is supposedly haunted. We'll be discussing some of those urban legends coming up shortly. And uh, hopefully this will be airing in October so it could be our Halloween episode, our first ever Halloween episode. Uh, and if it isn't, then man, those executives at the Home and Garden Channel, you're really slipping, folks. Get a grip on your audience. As part of our 21 Day Survival Challenge, we've been allowed three personal items to help with survival. Now, I want to mention that these three personal items are very important because any advantage you can have in the wilderness could be the difference between life or death. Absolutely. But other than these three personal items and flashlights, which we were allotted because without light, we're just dead in the yeah. woods. Um, other than these items, we have nothing more than what a backpacker would have if they had intended to be out for an afternoon and ended up stuck for a week. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Dallas, why don't you show them what you've got? Yeah, so today I have brought my knife slash flint fire starter. I have my military grade compass and I have brought my lucky slingshot. Nice. Well, I have brought my utility knife. Very, very important to always have a knife. Absolutely. Both of us need a knife. Knives are very important. They're all purpose tools and they allow you to very much survive. So I have my knife. Then I have a canteen for gathering water, obviously. Uh, water is extremely important, much more important than food. A lot of people think that they need to obtain food immediately. You can live two weeks, three weeks without food. But water, you've got days. So I have this Absolutely. canteen here so we can get the basics because we'll want to have fresh water first. Mm -hmm. Then we'll want to attempt to obtain shelter and food. That's and right. then, of course, the most important element, my sunglasses. Sunglasses, survival gear. Nice. I have sensitive eyes. Do you want a blind partner in the woods? Uh, not necessarily. I think they'll put a damper on my trip. Well, and if it makes if it makes you feel better at home, folks, uh, these sunglasses are about as useful as his slingshot. What are you talking about? My slingshot is very, very useful. I, I have hit many, many things <laughs> with my slingshot. Uh, your knuckles don't count. But now we need to go further into the woods and eventually find the right campsite for our first night in these spooky, haunted which is woods. That's right. And we're going to talk a little bit more about the uh, the stories behind the New Jersey Pine Barrens mm -hmm. in just a minute. But first, I got to scratch my ass. They're not going to use that part, I'm sure. I just, no. I just thought that that would be, you know. I'm not going to scratch your ass. One of the biggest legends. Well, dude, 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 take off your sunglasses. I look pretty cool in them, right? Take off the sunglasses, dude. One of the most famous legends surrounding the New Jersey Pine Barrens is, of course, the Jersey Devil. A story of Mother Leeds in the early 1700s who had 12 children and said, if she had a 13th child, may it be born a devil. And apparently, it sure was. And since then, the Pine Barrens in particular have been haunted by this creature with hooves, wings, and terrifying red, beady eyes. Now, that being said, it's very important that I point out that in the state of New Jersey, there is a high population of cranes. And cranes, if you look at a picture, 
they kind of look a lot like what people describe as the Jersey Devil. So most people, most skeptics, myself included, have dismissed the Jersey Devil pretty much entirely as people seeing cranes at night because if you look at the woods, you're going to notice they seem, they seem pretty affable, pretty nice, even on a gloomy October day. But I'll tell you right now, and you will find out shortly in the program, when the sun goes down, these woods became... Pff, these, we can put a cut in there. These woods become very, very scary. I think that worked. I like that one. Yeah, I think it, I think yeah, it was fine. You can cut that slip up. Yeah, out yeah, there. yeah, that's fine. Now, why are we discussing urban legends on a nature show? Now, it's important to remember that fear is your number one enemy out here. People tell stories about the woods because they're afraid of the unknown. And that is what gets you into trouble out here. Now, you can't go into the woods worrying about witches and goblins and demons. What you really have to worry about is clean water and, and fresh food. You can't let fear sink in. The moment you do, you start to panic. And panic is the number one reason why people get lost and they die in the woods. So we're here to teach you how to survive using, you know, just what's in front of you. How to survive, you know, a bear attack. How to get clean water. How to get fresh food. This is why we're here, to teach you how to survive. So how much cash money do you want to bet that you can hit anything other than a tree with your slingshot? I'm not placing bets right now. Well, I mean, obviously, when we get back, you're going to pay. Uh, see, he'd be fine with placing a bet, folks, if he thought he could win. $500. $500? $500. I will bet you $500 I can hit something with my slingshot. You gave me so much crap about that. Okay, I'll tell you what. You make it $750, you got a deal. $7.50, sure. $750. <laughs> That's what makes me holla. You're on? You're in? Let's All do right. it. All right, well, then we'll shake hands. I don't like I, to... I know I, you don't wash them, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Well, we all know you don't like to use toilet paper. Oh man! Well, I'm, get, I'm getting the camera out. Let's just, just hold on, one second. Oh my gosh! I just don't, I don't believe this. New Jersey's great. <laughs> Uh, um, ex excuse me? Uh, sorry to bother you or interrupt or whatever it is that you're doing. Um, we were just passing through and couldn't help but notice whatever it is you're doing. Why do you have a camera? We, we host a nature survival show. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm Hank and this is, this is Dallas. Um, and we are uh, surviving in the woods for 21 days in the Pine Barrens. And uh, 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 wait, why are you asking me? Qu what are you? Pardon the intrusion, but what are you guys doing here? We're performing a ritual. Are you Wiccan? I suppose you'd call us that in some sense, yeah. And why are you naked? The most important rituals should be performed sky clad. Every Can I talk to you? Ex excuse me one second. No, we can't film them. Oh, we can't. We not can't film we can't them. Film we cannot not How film would we them. film them? This is, How would, this with would a never, camera? This would never fly past the sensors. This oh, is the Home and Garden that's Network. Well, you we know, can't do it. The editors may be blurring it on the show, and that's fine, but they'll never blur my memory. This is a nature show. Yeah, and th this is as nature as it gets, my man. Just, <laughs> just trust me this one time, all right? I say that every time I, I see it. Okay, um, I know you uh, would rather not state your name, and that's fine. Um, so, uh, just, uh, tell us a little bit about, um, yourself, what you're doing here. Well, what you came upon was a, an ancient Etruscan ritual. Uh, we perform sometimes to become impregnated by the spirit of the air. Does your, does your family practice this? Like, did you grow up with this and it kind of became your belief system or? This is my family. This is my home. These are my sisters. This is where I live. This is where my heart is. Okay, and uh, are you currently seeing anyone? <laughs> Only the spirit. 
it's so much easier to connect with the spirits and the essences of the world around us when we're not surrounded by TV and radios and, and televisions and computers and, and microwaves. How do you feel about the fact that people call this the witch's woods? Do you feel like maybe that has something to do with you and your, and your coven and people of your ilk that come here? I, I mean, this, these woods have always been associated with people who share our practices, so I suppose that would be part of it, yes. You cannot take the left hand path. It is dangerous. You will be hurt. You will be hurt. This land belongs to Franny Kalakak and her followers. This is not your place. You need to go. So I noticed that these women kind of glom to you a bit. Are you like their leader or something? I prefer to think of myself as a teacher or guide. Do you have any advice for anybody who's, who's coming to these woods? They seem very special to you. Do you have any advice uh, for them if they want to commune with nature here like you are? Go home. I mean, is that in general or toward me? Go somewhere else. I mean, you ladies have all expressed to us consistently that this is a loving and beautiful place, but now you're telling me to leave? Love may be severe. Okay, well, thank you girls very, very much, and uh, maybe we'll see you on the way out. All right? Bless exactly. Thank you. It was so good. Oh my god. Beautiful day for this. That's not bad. I, I was uh, mostly being facetious because the clouds look like dog do. <laughs> Uh, that is, this is the most inhospitable looking environment. I don't think it's the worst we've ever had. It's not the worst we've had. No, no, not by a long shot, but it's uh, pretty chilly. No, it's just colder than I expected. October, I think they were predicting around 50 as the low. I think we might really? be right at that already. Yeah, I think we've hit it. So, um... I don't want to leave an elephant in the woods, but uh, did you know that woman back there? The one we just met? Yeah, the the one the one of them you seemed really familiar with. No, 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 I didn't know her. No, that was the first time we met. So I guess due to the weather kind of being a little rough and the fact that I don't know how much daylight we're really gonna have, I guess we should start looking for suitable campsites. Yeah, uh, uh, it's not clear enough over here. I think we need to go a bit further before we find a suitable spot. I mean, it should open up a little bit. At least I'm hoping that. I'm hoping lots of things. First of all, uh, you wanna get some protection from the elements. So uh, make sure you pick a camping spot that's uh, under some trees or next to some boulders. Uh, just to get some protection from the from the rain and the wind. Um, it's also important, though, remember that uh, not to camp under some dead trees in yeah. the event of a windstorm. We had a branch fall on us once in Peru. Uh huh. Yeah, he doesn't that. like to talk about that because he picked that campsite. I did. I am very very guilty of that. That's the first time you admitted it. It's on camera. Well, everything's on camera. So. <laughs> everything's on camera. So uh, go on. Yeah. So you want to be also, uh, you want underbrush, but you want the tree to be alive. You want the tree to be alive. Uh, also, you want to camp near water, obviously, uh, to maintain a good water source. Just make sure you purify it. Uh, also, uh, make sure you're at least 200 feet away, though, um, because of flooding. Again, Peru. <laughs> yeah, why do you have to keep bringing that up? Peru was miserable. I know it was miserable. You don't have to keep bringing it up, though. The hotel after was miserable. It was all bad. Oh Sorry, Peru. Sorry. Hey, you know what? I just realized something. What's up? We should do something like, how about this time, you be the young, supple Alec Baldwin, and I'll be uh, the manly Anthony Hopkins. <laughs> uh, I don't think this is like the edge. I think surviving in the wilderness is, is a little different than that. How do you make fire from ice? I'm going to kill the motherfucker. See, you know, I... <laughs> I could have been doing a show. I could have been on Naked and Afraid with some chick and said they stuck me with this idiot. Naked and Afraid people don't get paid SAG minimum scale. Sure. <laughs> oh, but really, we'll get naked later. Don't worry about it. I got you. Well, before you head off into any 
uh, for us. You want to make sure you let people know where you're going. If there are any park rangers around, just go ahead and visit them. Maybe even leave a map uh, detailing where you're going to end up just so that you know everyone knows where you are at all times. Yeah, one thing you always want to have is a map. Of course, mm -hmm. we don't have a map because we, we map. are lost. We are officially lost. Yeah. We no, are that's lost. Not that's, that's not true. It's kind of the goal. But you, <laughs> you absolutely want to talk to people who know about the area you're going to be hiking or camping in. Uh, that's a very important element. Yes. It's really important to uh, keep in mind the fact that woods tend to all look the same. Uh, and yeah. that's why it's so easy to get lost. Uh, most people who get lost in the woods uh, are expecting to be there maybe a whole day. Maybe with a sleeping bag or a tent just in case. Because they might, you know, think it would be fun to stay the night and then come back in the morning. But the fact is these trails, you can look at them, they, they all blend together and they start to look the same very quickly. Absolutely. So if you're hiking and you don't know what direction you're going in, you're pretty much guaranteed to be lost. Well, that's, Luckily, why, that's why it's really important to have a compass as well. And even if you don't have one, or in, even in addition to having a compass, even if, if you're alone out here, you know, if you have something you can tie to a tree or make a marker on, go ahead and do that. It'll, it'll mark where you've been, you know, in case you need to return the same way. Nothing would be stupider than traveling without a compass in the woods. Do your magic, man. All right, so there are many, many ways to start a fire uh, once you're out camping. My personal preference is the flint fire starter. Uh, it can be a little frustrating, depending. I mean, it can take a little while. This wood is a little wet, so we'll give it our best shot. We'll see how we do here. I mean, you're frustrating and we keep you around. So. I know, yeah. The key is to get a good spark in the kindling. The other key is to try not to bore the audience <laughs> at home. <laughs> I am, I'm being very boring right now. Well, I'd rather be bored than cold. Very true. And I do want to mention, I don't know if this is going to be consistent, but it is getting uh, a bit colder than we were expecting, which is something you have to expect when you're out in the wild. Things aren't going to go exactly the way you plan. And uh, we thought it was going to be warmer than it actually is. So we need this fire very, very badly. We have maybe 40 minutes of sun left. Just about. Yeah. Like I said, folks, this can take quite a while. <laughs> well, I think after our failure finding the water, we're going to accept uh, yeah. no other failures oh, today. Oh, 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 there's a good spark. Oh, oh, oh. There you go. Okay, we got, we got a little bit of flame. Little it's very small. You better bit. feed it. Little, yeah, okay. You want to yeah. blow on the flame a little bit? Try to feed it. Look at that. See? That's how you start a fire. That's why you carry a flint fire starter instead of a, a pair of stupid sunglasses as your third and final item. Oh, well, I, I understand that your, your flint fire starter starts a campfire, but these sunglasses start a fire inside the hearts of young ladies. I won't deny that. I wish we had marshmallows though. Oh, what was that? What was what? Oh, do you have your flashlight? Uh, I've got mine, I've got it. What'd you hear? It's, I mean, it was definitely like a, like a, I mean, it was kind of your stereotypical branch snap. But, what do you expect? We're in the woods. But I Branches mean, snap all the time. I'm kind of freaked out because I feel like I mean, do you think those those witch women followed us? Because they were acting really weird at the end of the interview, I and they could. They us. Okay, kind of. That's a fair point. Uh, but it definitely is making me a little uneasy. Uh, you know, for our you know first night. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, like unless you hear actual people, I wouldn't worry about it. It's a twig snapping. We need to concentrate on getting warm and just getting to sleep. We need to get some rest for tomorrow. Still have to find a whole bunch of stuff. You're right, and we got plenty of firewood to burn. So I guess it's time to call it a night and Good let night. the fear go to bed with us. Exactly.
There is something outside of the camp. I'm serious. I don't know what it is, but there's something outside the camp. What are you talking about? Look. There's something outside the camp. It was loud, man. It was really, really loud. Did it sound like an animal or a person? I mean, I, I, I don't know. I'd guess an animal. I don't hear anything, man. I don't hear anything. Go back to sleep. Go back to sleep. There's nothing out here. I put some more wood on and I'll go back to sleep. You just go ahead. All right. Ah, another beautiful October morning. Yeah. Yeah. So how'd you like your uh, your floor mattress, your your dirt that was mattress? The most comfortable bed I've ever slept on. The fire was really good though. The fire was good. I did a good job of that. So, first order of business: take care of water. Find some water. And uh, food. Food. Definitely food. Did Did you open my pack? You sure? Cause it, I didn't leave it open all night. No, I didn't touch it. I mean, I had my backpack here. I was sleeping on it. No, I didn't go near your bag. I didn't eat anything out of it. Do you think a raccoon or something did it? I don't know. I mean, I just think one of them would have woken us up. I don't know. I, don't... I mean, you're sure, you're sure, like in the middle of the night, you didn't need like a, you didn't decide to change the batteries in your camera or something. No. No, no, I mean, unless I sleptwalked, I'm not known for sleepwalking, though. All right. One of the most important tools you can have when venturing out into the wilderness is a compass. But just in the event that you no longer have one, um, there are a lot of really important ways, you know, good ways to, uh, to find your way out of the woods. As you know, the, uh, the sun you know, rises in the east, sets in the west. Also, if it's a cloudy day like today, you can always find moss, and moss always grows on the north side of the tree, so if you can find that, you know which direction is north. It's true, but it's also important to keep in mind that uh, sometimes it's not always about getting yourself out. Sometimes you want to make sure that people can find you when you're lost. So marking your trail is extremely important, either by cre creating some kind of an unnatural uh, stone marking on the path, or something as simple as tying a piece of ribbon or you can even take out a, your knife, which if you don't have a knife, don't even bother watching the show, you're not gonna make it. But you can take this knife and just make an unnatural mark in the tree. You're not gonna harm the tree, and it's gonna let people know that you were through here. No animal is gonna make that marking, they're gonna know people are along the way. And you don't have to cut every tree, just cut maybe every five or six trees along the path at the same height to make sure people can find you and you can get to safety. It's extremely important to make sure people can figure out where you've been going. Because in a situation like this, if you're moving a lot, they're not going to be able to find you. But sometimes you have to move, much like in our case, because we have no food and no water. But and, we will uh, soon. We will soon. I don't know about you, but... Uh, I have a really good feeling we're close to water. I think we'll come across it within the next hour. My muscles are starting to cramp a little bit because, well... I don't have any water. Uh, that's uh, uh, something to keep in mind. Dehydration can sneak up on you. You don't even see it coming. So, once you have discovered water, a good running water source, you want to make sure that it's actually safe to drink. You don't want to drink it straight from the source, uh, simply because there could be 
a whole bunch of bacteria in the water. You know, some people say, oh, it's, you know, it comes from the top of a mountain. You know, it's perfectly safe. No, don't try, don't even trust that. You probably know this if you watch the show, but Dallas hiked the PCT once. I did. And the majority of people who fail to do the 2,600 mile uh, hike up the Pacific Coast Trail, they, uh, they quit very early on from drinking unpurified water. Yeah. But with us, we have uh, iodine tablets. We're gonna find iodine, put iodine tablets in the water as soon as we uh, find a good source. Uh, you can also use a stirrup pen. Um, that's actually a good preferred method. Uh, if you don't have any of those things, uh, get a good fire going and just boil the water. But please do not drink uh, untreated water. It's, it's not that safe. Let's let's hold up for a second. Okay. So let's talk about food real quick, because uh, I feel like uh, it's on my mind. It's on your mind. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be uh, using my slingshot. Hopefully, uh, something will come along. Best thing is just to stay still. Let the animals come to you. Uh, maybe we'll see a squirrel, or uh, if we're lucky, something even bigger. But. The slingshot takes a lot of skill, though, and it, it should does. be mentioned, you know, I gave you a, a, a hard time about choosing a slingshot as one of your personal <laughs> items, and it is because the success rate is very low, and one of the uh, biggest tools you need out here is patience. Absolutely. If you don't have patience, you're not going to get dinner, you're going to be hungry. Yep. Uh, the other biggest tool uh, in the woods is definitely Dallas. He would be the other big tool. So, um, Thanks, man. Hey, you Appreciate know, I, it. I got you, brother. So we're going to uh, pick a good spot and stay there until the animals in the area hopefully get used to our scent. Uh, I smell rugged and, and manly, uh, which I guess they're threatened by. A lot of people seem to be threatened by oh, it. Listen, he smells like B.O. I need to stay a little quieter. And, uh, you got it. Yep. Like I said, it takes a while. Well, we only have enough battery for 21 days, so. Funny. <laughs> How did you miss that? I don't know. It was right there. I got nothing. Wait. Hold on one second. What's up? Come on! What exactly are you leading us to? What'd you hear? Trust me, it'll be a lot better than your hunting. That's what it's gonna be. Oh, screw you. Come on. Like, Bobby. Let's see you kill I mean, at least I brought a, a, a instrument for, for hunting. I mean, do you plan to kill anything with your sunglasses? Well, maybe if you don't shut up and follow me. Well, your sunglasses are killing me. The ugliest things I've ever seen in my life. Oh, haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. <laughs> Come on, you trust me. You're gonna, you're gonna be very happy about this. Do you really know where you're going? Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, did. buddy. I don't really think you heard anything, buddy. Oh, I did. See, that's the thing you keep forgetting. Hike the Appalachian Trail, Eagle Scout. I know a couple things about one very important thing, and that is finding water. Here it is, buddy. Congratulations. Do yeah. I owe an apology or not? Uh, well, you're the one who gets to drop down there and fill the canteen and we'll call it even. <laughs> but now that we have water, we can set up a proper camp. That's true. And maybe, just maybe, we'll be a little bit comfortable tonight. Hopefully. The weather has been turning even more frigid. It is very, very cold. 
but I'm hoping we can get at least a decent fire started. Oh, uh, I think we won't have a problem with that. Yeah. Not with a stomach full of water. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll take it. So, uh, so, uh, how, uh, how stupid are my sunglasses now? Huh? They're incredibly stupid. They are the ugliest sunglasses I have ever seen. I'm sorry. What did I say on the side? It's a band I like. <laughs> so, uh, one part of survival that people don't like to, uh, to talk about so much is, uh, the fact that sometimes you need to conserve body heat. It has been consistently getting colder in the Pine Barrens every night, and the fire is not quite enough anymore. So, uh, so I guess we're gonna spoon. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> You're only the little spoon because I'm 30 pounds heavier than you. So come on. Come on. I don't get over here. Okay. Come here. Right. Come here. Okay. It doesn't have to be weird if we don't make it okay. weird, right? All right. All right. Nope. You feel a little warmer already? A little warmer. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's fine. Do you ever just look at the stars and wonder? Okay, please shut up now. Let's go to sleep. Do you think we all have a guardian angel? Don't care. Just need to go to sleep. Every person has a okay, soulmate. Okay, please. <laughs> No, we, we can sleep for real. Okay, Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. I, I 100% saw an animal out there or something. I saw some shiny, beady red eyes. You know what I'm talking about? Like a, like, what if it was a bear or something? You saw a bear? I don't know if it was a bear, but what, could it have been? I mean, they, 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 well, I don't it could have been a bear. Did you see it exactly? Or yeah, no, I saw the eyes of, of it. They, they must have gleamed off of my flashlight or something. Let's take a look around. You sure you saw something? I'm positive. I just don't want anything to mess with her. Through, the, through there, I just don't want anything to mess with our campsite. I, I don't hear anything, man. Look, oh. if you're so worried about it, just... Right, here's what we'll do. We'll put up the deer camera. It'll detect any movement. That was a night. That was a night. But uh, hey, that uh looks a little weird. What is? What is that? I don't know. What do you th What do you think it is? It. I don't know. It's just hanging off the tree. Who cares what it is? Well, I mean, it's it's creepy. Like, why would it be here? Doesn't it's a kid's toy? Who cares? Why would there be kids playing in the deepest part of the trail? I don't know. Why does it matter? I don't know. What should I do with it? Like, throw it away or keep it? Who cares? I'm gonna, I'm gonna toss it. You can do whatever you want with it. I don't care. Freaks me out a little bit. I don't want it. <sighs> All right. Uh, Let's keep let's keep the pace, right? Yeah. Yep. Hey, uh, remember when we were in the Scottish Highlands and your pants got got so full of thistles you had to walk around half naked for okay, two days? Please stop talking. Please stop talking. Yeah, why do you have to make everything into a joke? We're in a bit of a situation. We have to find food right now. Your joking is not helping, okay? 
Well, your slingshot didn't help either, but I didn't scream yes, at you does. over it. Yes, it does. I have hunted. I've, I have killed a lot of things with that slingshot. Okay? Tell that to my growling stomach. You know what? I'm sick of your attitude. You're an internet celebrity. I know a little bit oh. more about this than you do, okay? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I don't have the hunting and survival experience necessary, right? Right? Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's figure that out. Let's do a wager that matters out here. Tell you what. How about this? We'll split up. First one to find food doesn't have to dig the latrine. Deal. All right. Good luck. See you at sundown. Asshole. So, I just want to say I have a secret weapon that Dallas doesn't know about, and I'm going to get a something good to eat pretty easily with any luck. Luck is a big part of surviving out here. So uh, what we've got here, a nice, a nice creek. And uh, I think I know what I need to do to get some food out of it. Certain kinds of fish like to hide in the shallows, kind of where there, there are shadows. And uh, if you sit long enough and you're quiet long enough, you can actually catch one using your hands as bait. It's called noodling, uh, which is illegal in some areas uh, because it can be a little dangerous, but when you're in a life or death situation, you just dip your hands in the freezing cold water and hope. So, it is way too cold. One of the secrets to noodling, other than being very quiet, is uh, you have to wait it out. And this water is making it extremely difficult to do that. I hope the camera caught that sound. I don't know what that was, but uh, I intend to find out. I will show him that you can, in fact, make the slingshot into a formidable weapon. It is really, really cold out here. My fingers are frozen solid. So I think it may be affecting my ability to do this very well. Whatever he's doing, I can assure you, it is not as effective as this. He will most definitely fail. I'm gonna get that squirrel. Still nothing. Where are you? All right, this looks ominous a little bit. Kind of your stereotypical abandoned campsite, but uh, oh, what do we have here? Oh, thank you. What'd you find? Oh man. Not a whole lot, to be honest. Uh, looks like somebody didn't uh, end up staying very long. They don't have a, yeah, no tent, no fire, but they gathered wood. They clearly ate a couple meals. Are we sure they're not coming back? Uh, look at the food in these pots. Man, I don't like this. I don't know, this worries oh. me a little bit. Maybe somebody got sick of it. I mean, I'm pretty sick well, of it know, already. Why do leave this stuff here, though? I mean, that's perfectly good stuff. That's perfectly good equipment. I don't know why they just leave that here. I don't know, but I do have some good news. What is Look what I found. Spam. Nice. You know what this means? I found food first. I mean, unless you got a squirrel on your backpack. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You I'm did afraid. Food. This is food. That is food. We will eat it. 
I'm not giving credit for finding food. You found it in that backpack, didn't you? Well, if you're not hungry, then I guess I didn't find food. All right, there's yours portioned out. Multiple portions. Look at that. This still oh. does not count as you finding food, I'm sorry. This is pure protein, exactly what you need to survive in the wilderness. Look, no, I, listen to me. I'm not mm. trying to bitch about having to dig the latrine. I'm just saying that mm. you coming across this food is not the same as me going out with, mm. you know, with a, a, a slingshot. Do they have the same result? Not necessarily. Well, yeah. Just try it. Don't be a baby. You're such an elitist. Eat the food of the people. It's spam. Enjoy it. Man. See? It's not that bad, is it? I'd rather have the lichen up we found before. What the fuck is that? Where's my light? Did you see that? I saw something. Hello? Maybe we should, uh... Try to make the fire bigger, I think, uh... Wait, think it was an animal? I don't know, but I, I... I noticed earlier the clouds were getting a bit... rough, and I'm afraid in the morning the fire's gonna be out and we won't be able to start it again. Dallas? Dallas? Dallas, where are you? <sighs> Fuck, maybe it's, maybe it's coyotes. Jesus Christ, where were you? Where the fuck were you? I went to the bathroom, man. It was right over there. Were you looking for me? I yelled your name and you didn't you didn't call out or anything. I didn't hear anything. You're right. Something happened? What happened? I don't know what it was, man. What what was? What are you talking about? I thought maybe they were coyotes. Coyotes? So I, I don't think so. I mean, I tried, I tried hollering to get him to go. Never mind. I don't hear anything. Never, never mind. Just go Let's back go. to go back to sleep. Good morning to be alive. Okay, here we go. Uh, so, um, so the uh, the sleep and wintry mix we've been experiencing on and off uh, seem to come. It felt like every 20 minutes or 25 minutes while we were sleeping, uh, it kept everything nice and, uh, and moist. Very hard to burn, so uh, our flint fire starter was pretty much useless, so we had a nice, a nice night with no fire, and uh, that was great. Uh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me alone, please. Folks. If you ever wondered why after uh, about six episodes of season one, all of a sudden I showed up on the program, it might be because I'm willing to talk about my problems. It raises a fair point, which is about your psychological condition in the wild. Seriously, this is what you're gonna do right now? You know, you're being a diva. Right now, you're and being I'm, a I'm fucking trying, diva. You're being a fucking asshole right now. I'm trying not to get angry at you right now. I, tried I didn't counting sleep the... at all last night. Leave I'm... me alone, okay? Just suit up, please. All right, listen, I know you're pissed at me right now. I know you're pissed at me right now, but when they look at the footage, 
when the editor looks at the footage and we did our job, even though we were suffering, you're going to be very happy. Okay, so I, I'm sorry. What is this? What is this? I don't know. Did you put it in my bag? It wasn't here last night. What did you put in my bag? Why would I put that in your bag? Because there's no one else here. Oh, so I'm crazy that our bags were moved maybe by wild animals or you while you got up to take a leak, but there's something in your bag and now you're so mad at me, maybe you need a time out. Maybe you should go take a walk for just a minute. No, because you're acting like a child, okay? Who else would have put it in my bag? I... It had to be you. Look Are at you trying your... to fuck with me? Look I'm trying your... to make a fucking TV show, okay? Look at your bag. It's full of garbage. Maybe if you threw something away every now and then, you'd know what was in it! I'm... Hey, uh, I'm sorry I yelled at you. I didn't mean it, okay? Whatever. It's fine. You know, one thing I feel like I probably bring up too often on this show is uh, the extra weight of all the camera equipment and batteries we're carrying. It adds about 40 pounds per pack. Because we don't have survival equipment in these sacks. It's all us. All the time. But I guess that is the reality of the situation. It doesn't take you out of it. Maybe. Uh, you're gonna get dizzy if you keep doing that, man. Dude, this thing's not pointing north. Well, did you calibrate it? Or? Yeah, I calibrated it. It's just the only thing you can It's, it's spinning around in circles right now. It's not pointing north. Dude, what the fuck did you do to this compass? I didn't touch the compass. You must have done something, okay? I didn't touch it. What did you do? What would I. Why would I mess with your compass? Because. Wh where's the other compass? Did you have another compass? The one from the, the campsite? Yeah, the one from the campsite. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I didn't take it because it's like a Why crappy... Why the hell would you take it? Because it's a crappy, like, fourth grader compass. You have a military spec compass. You have to take advantage of every situation. Why wouldn't you take the compass? Because I thought we had the best compass we could have. I, I, I... What did you do this thing? Why would I mess with the compass? Why would I break the compass? You probably fucked it up somehow. You didn't know what you were doing with it. You messed it up. Yeah, I, I can't use a compass. Well, how else do you explain this? This is not pointing north. See, it's not pointing north. I didn't touch your compass, okay? I didn't. Hey, uh, a little cold, huh? The packs are getting a little heavy. You think, uh, maybe we could take a little break? Tiny, Man, tiny to stop? Keep, keep going. Maybe just a minute. And we have to we have to get a far enough distance away from our previous campsite. And I'm stopping. Just for a minute. Just for a minute. What is that? I don't know. No, that's a marker. That's that's uh on purpose. Yeah, it's on purpose. Some kids probably made it. Might be uh to mark their path, make sure they don't get lost. Well, I mean, it, but it's a triangle, so it has three points. Yeah. When you're marking your path, you want to have a, a direction that goes yeah. that goes with it. But it has three directions because it has three points, so it's a very poor marker. I mean, it's a good well, marker not... in that the geometry is not in, in nature. It's nothing. It's a marker. Some kids probably were in here. They wanted to mark their path. Kids. Kids hiked 11 miles, 15 miles, however far we are. I don't have... I don't have an explanation, okay? <laughs> hey, look! Good news, the sleet came back, right? All right. We're lucky. So we're gonna keep going that way, right? Yeah. You know, so this is pretty bad, I won't lie. But, uh, do you remember when we were in the Appalachians? And, uh, there was that, Mountain cat. Uh, we were so afraid of it. <laughs> you threw, you threw a porcupine at it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, you can't buy memories like that. But you know another thing. Uh, when you think about cultural differences, you know the the Bedouin tribe has this very strange 
kind of ritual where they, the men cover themselves in camel urine, I believe it was. That was one of the weirdest things I had ever learned on a Road to Nowhere shoot. They cover themselves in camel urine to be more attractive to prospective mates in order to initiate marital intercourse. And uh, kind of wish I had gotten you camel urine for Christmas, so because then maybe Dallas could have some marital intercourse and he'd be a okay, little bit nicer. Please shut up, okay? We're in a situation right now, okay? Just trying to lighten the mood, all right? All right. What's up? These uh, these branches and this this weird broken tree, we I I I'm almost positive we've been here before. We've been going in the same direction all day, so no. I mean you're sure? Yeah. This looks exactly like what we passed. Well, no, dude. We've been going the same direction. We haven't passed this at all. I mean, we've been going that we've been going from coming from that direction the whole time. So. We keep going that direction. All we're doing is looking for the stream. If we follow the stream, we can find food. We can just follow that. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is ours. Look, dude, these are cut. No, these are cut. Dude, we cut these. We've been going the same direction. Kindling. Stop your bitching, okay? We've been going the same direction all day. There's no way we could have passed that before, okay? We just keep going this direction. We'll be fine. Just for a second. I can't, I can't keep going at this clip, man. We have to keep moving. No. There's no shame in just a minute. Dude, we really need to keep moving, dude. It's starting to snow again, this way. I know it's snowing. It's always snowing. Let's just... Dude, we can't stop. Just let me we get can't some of the stop. Some of the canteen and then I'm right back at it. Get some water. All right. Thank you. It is. Uh, what? No water. None. Didn't you, you filled the water bottle? Yeah, I filled it. You filled it. the water bottle. I, I, I don't where's know the other? Where's the other canteen? We don't have another canteen. You brought a canteen as one of your items. Yeah, didn't you have? have you had another one, right? No. Had, so that's the only water we had. Yeah. So you let it get empty? No, I didn't let it get empty. It was your job to fill the water bottle. I did fill the water bottle, but you carried it. I I, I had nothing to drink today. What did you do? I didn't... The cap was on tight, right? Yeah. The cap is on? Yeah, Jesus okay. Christ, it's your canteen. I don't know why you... I know it's my canteen. It was your job to fill the fucking bottle, okay? Come on, we need to get more water. I need a... I need a minute. No, no, we have to get more water. I need a minute! Give me a minute! Okay? Give me a minute! You know what you're signing up for. This is not for the weak. That's all you are, is weak. We need to keep moving or else we're going to die. You understand that? This is a survival show. You can't sit down like this. Don't you fucking call me weak. Fuck on you, fucker. fucker. Fine. Go find the Here's your water. show. Go. Let's go. Did you show? I'm going to tell you something. Hey. One time. That's all you get. Fucking water, okay? Well, take me to the stream, cause you know how to find everything. Yes, I do, okay? Yep. So lead me to water. You're being a useless shit. I have to do everything. Douse me to water, Captain. Hey, here's one. I know this isn't in your book. Help! Shut Help! Shut the fuck up. Hey, hold up. One second. What? Look. That's a shoe. Yeah, that's a boot. Yeah, Why? but it looks like there's like some blood on it, like dried blood. What? That's not blood. That's not blood. Then what is it? Dirt. It's dirt. Who would leave a boot in the middle? You find all sorts of shit in the woods. How do I know? 
I think we should call somebody. We no. found that campsite just a couple of days ago, yeah. and now we're finding we're finding boots and abandoned clothes. Who cares? Who, not, how, who knows how long this has been here? Hold on, this is a show, right? This is a show, right? So, okay. Um, folks, it's important if you find clear signs of people in distress that you do everything in your power to help them. Oh, fuck off. This is not the show. It's not the show. You're right. It's not the show. So get out the satellite phone and let's call some help. No, from these we're people. not getting out the satellite phone. We're not doing anything. Okay. We're going to make our survival show. That's why we're out here. Okay. We're not here well, to be a rescue team. Okay. Well, someone has one boot. Tell me something, Mr. Survivalist expert. How far can you make it in the harsh wilderness with constant fucking sleep with one boot? That's not our problem. Our problem is survival, okay? We need to get ourselves give me, give me the through this. Just no. Give me the phone. No. No. Just you're not, you're not the getting phone. the phone. You're not the getting the phone. You gotta give me the phone. You're not getting the phone. I'm gonna take it then. Get the fuck out of me! Get the fuck off me! Yeah. I'm coming. Well, I decided to uh, take a walk to, uh, you know, relieve some tension and uh, it's hailing. So uh, it is a lot colder than we had planned and I'm hoping that it stops uh, as fast as it came because this is a very difficult thing to, to handle. <sighs> Nature, right? It just won't stop. It's, uh, it's starting to get kind of dark. And uh, I don't see any water. For complaining, it's not helping. I mean, should we start thinking about camp? Uh, I'm serious that we do not have much sun left. We have to keep moving. I'm, I'm telling you right now, we're not near water. Yes, we are. We need, we need to keep moving. Here, well, stand still for one second. Stand still for one second. Listen. Do you hear anything other than the sleet? No. And the more you talk, the less we'll be able to hear running water. All right, all right. But, we're, but we cannot walk like this through night. You know we'll get worse, we'll get lost worse. We cannot keep this pace up once it's dark. Are you listening? Yes, I mean, we're I'm on the, listening, we're on the same I'm page, hearing right? you, I'm hearing you. We're on the you. same page, okay. Are we really gonna hike through all this sleet? We're not gonna try to make a shelter? If we started now, we'd have it ready by the time it's dark. You know, I really need you to man up and just do your job. I am doing my job. I'm talking to a camera and I'm giving you advice, suggestions, thoughts, you need to, you need to... opinions. <laughs> well, uh, the good news is this uh, sleet is pretty much gone. Um, it's October, and the uh, low for today was supposed to be 51 degrees, uh, which is an important element of survival, and that is uh, always be prepared. We wore uh, warmer clothing than we needed uh, because we knew it could be colder than we were expecting, and uh, we wore winter hats. Uh, we did not pack gloves, which was not wise, but... Um this wind is really bad, man. We're not going to be okay if we stay in it. We've got to find somewhere to go. Dude, we just have to keep walking, We have okay? got to find somewhere to go. This is, I mean, this is the worst I think I've ever felt. I can't feel my feet, and I know you can't feel your skinny ass. Dude, our best option is to keep walking, If we okay? don't find shelter, we're not going to get to tomorrow. We're not going to make it if we don't get out of this wind right fucking now. Come on, we got to... Do you see that? 
Why would there be a tent out here? There's a fucking tent right there, and I don't give a shit why it's there. We need to get inside of it now. I don't care if Jack the fucking Ripper is in that tent. Dude, we have we, to keep going. If we, we stand have to keep this going. Wind, we are dead. My nose is going to fucking fall off. Shut the fuck up and get in the fucking tent. What? I threw the satellite on the way. What? Are you fucking kidding me? You. Oh my fucking god. What the f. Shit. What are you, what are you talking about? We have to help them. It's our job. We have to go. Go where? Jesus Christ. Come on, sl slow down. I can't I can't keep up with you doing it like this. this way. What what do you mean? Hold up, hold up. Hey, 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 hey. At least take your camera. Like, we gotta do the show, right? The show. Okay, because we're, we're out here doing a show. I mean, we're gonna find these people and help them, but we're out here doing a show. Keep, keep it in mind, man. This way. Wait, now. If we find these people, they're clearly hurt. Or shouldn't shouldn't we worry about like wh what if we're in danger? Like there was blood all over the tent. Don't you think we should be careful? Like how would we protect ourselves? We don't. We're not prepared for this. This is our job. We have to help them. Help who? You're. I don't understand what you're talking about. Please slow down, man. This is breaking me. Please. We can't keep going like this. Can't waste any time. Well, at least tell me, where are we going? What direction? Like, why are we going this way? You keep looking at the ground, I'm not seeing anything. What is it? Show me what you're seeing. She went this way. Who? Who went this way? We're coming. What are you... We're coming! You've got to hold up! I can't keep up! I can't... I can't keep up! Please! Hold on! We're close. Close to what? They're here. Who's they? Please... I know you're not usually the most communicative guy in the world, but this is pretty impressive, man. Even for you, come on. It's getting, we, why would we, it's getting dark. It's gonna be dark in no time flat. This is our job. We have to do this. That way, straight ahead. Come on. Okay, slow down. We can't go this hard at night. You know that we can't. Come on, slow down. I can't even keep up with you. We're gonna, we're gonna trip and break our fucking heads. They were dragged by their feet. This way. Who was dragged by their feet? And if we need, if they need so much help, why don't we find a road or go to the pickup spot or do something other than wander in the woods in the dark? Fucking Christ.
They're close. Who's close? We have to find her. Who are you talking about? Wait, We're come coming. on! We're I can't. Coming. I can't keep up with you if you're going that fast. I can't keep up with you if you're going that fast. Fucking. Fucking lost. Jesus Christ. Okay. 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 I gotta find him. He's a fucking asshole and he's insane, but he's gonna he's gonna die alone out here. Okay, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh my God, You're... are you okay? Christ, are you hurt? Dallas, are you okay? What happened? We, we've got to get help. We'll get you help too. We, we've got to get out of here, okay? God damn it, answer me! Oh my God. What happened to you? I found him. I saved him. Who, who did you save? Do you need to be saved? Oh, Jesus Christ! I can help you! I can save you! Let me help you! I'm not stupid. I'm stupid. Save them. Save them. Save them all. I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I'm gonna go home. I, I, I guess, did we get it? I, I think, think we, I think we got, got it. it. I, think we, I think it's good. Yeah. I mean, did you, did you think it worked or do you think we should do the end again? No, I think I think it came out fine. I mean, I don't think we have to do it again. All right, I think but it came out fine. if it sucks, we're, we're watching it tonight. If it sucks, we're coming right back and we're we're shooting it again tomorrow night. And I don't, I don't give a shit how cold it is, okay? <laughs> you're cold, dude. I'm, I'm, you're, not, you're, not, you're not the I'm one who's half naked. <laughs> fair, 
fair point, but you know that's what that's what people want to buy, right? That's Not true. the chicks at the beginning. It's you that's at the end, babe. That's true. That's true.